Hi, Robin. Hi, Joe. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. So, Joe, tell me, um, what is your personal connection to the troops and the veterans? Well, <clears throat> this is my 11th year doing the concert. So um, my personal connection probably starts with the fact that I have a lot of military in my family. I mean, I had, f I had six uncles that I, that, that I was close to that were all part of World War II. Um, and so that's always been part of my life anyway. And then just, f f I think from the time I started doing this concert 11 years ago, it really sealed the deal for me because it brought into play just how important Memorial Day is. And so it's been, especially since the la for, for the last 11 years, it's been a, it's been a major part of, of my focus, uh, certainly this time of year. What are some of the more poignant moments um, that we'll see on the, uh, on the show this year? Well, there's going to be quite a few poignant moments, but I know we have a couple. Um, there's there's a couple instances. One where uh, the actress Selma Blair will be recounting the words of a, of a young woman who lost her husband in Afghanistan, young w widow who, who you know has children and has to deal with that. And then my friend Dennis Franz will be recounting the words of a Vietnam veteran who became homeless and what he had to deal with with that. So as we do every year, we, we, we tell these true life stories, and very often with the real pe people in attendance there, and said through the words of these actors, speaking their, the, these, uh, the real words of these people, uh, of what it, you know, what, why Memorial Day is the holiday that we have it. You know, in other words, what's the significance of it, and why we take this day aside in this country, uh, you know, to honor those who've served our country over the last 200 Absolutely. years. Absolutely, and I know this year you're doing something special called a virtual wall of remembrance. Can mm -hmm. you talk about that? Well, if you go on the website, if you go on our website, which, you know, if you go to pbs.org uh, slash, uh, you know, whatever, just look up the Memorial Day concert on PBS, you'll find it. And it gives the you an opportunity to um, the viewer to actually t recount their own stories, their own personal, um, you know, if, if something that perhaps they'd always wanted to recount or say or talk about relating to their own personal connection to Memorial Day or to f f family, friends, or whoever it may be that have been or are in the military. So it gives them a forum that we, you know, we actually draw from that on occasion to actually tell stories. We'll, we'll read some of these comments and stories and we'll incorporate them into the show the following year often because we it, because some of these stories are just so poignant and so you know need need to be told so this gives the audience some uh, a, a, a way to interact and also there'll be lots of music i know gary sinise is in a band um so will his band be performing N this particular year no gary you know he acts as my co-host for you know as we've done for the last seven years he did play with his band on the show uh, like seven years ago uh, but no this year we've got natalie cole we've got uh, daughtry we've got trace atkins we've got russell uh watson um so it, it runs the gamut of different kinds of music and, and uh, um, um, you know, from, from country to pop to, uh, to oh, when we have the, um, she just, um, uh, I'm trying to think of her name that lost the, um, 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 Jessica, Sanchez. Jessica Sanchez, right. She, she lost American Idol just, just last night. But, you know, she was the runner-up, actually. But um, she, she's going to be a part of the concert as well. Very, very cool. So I think this is going to be like a three-hanky show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they often are. But, but when you walk away from it, you'll understand, if you didn't before, you'll really understand why this holiday is so important. And what's up next for you, Joe? Well, I've actually just completed a film with Je uh, Heather Graham up in Canada, and then I'll, when I go back to Los Angeles, I'm going to start a, an, another film um, with William Forsyth, and uh, um, and then I'll go back to Criminal Minds in July. We, go, we start our eighth season of Criminal Minds. So eighth I've got a busy season. hiatus. Oh my goodness! Yeah, yeah, it'll be our eighth eighth season. So I'm looking forward to that. The show's been doing very very well, and I've. I've been on the show for, this will be my sixth year with the show, and I'm very happy with it. And so life's good. I, I really can't complain.
Well, happy Memorial Day. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Take care. Bye.